In the previous video lesson, we took a look at expanding the logical volumes within my volume group by adding additional drives. We did not take a look at file systems at all. So in this video lesson, we're going to look at doing the same thing, but working with the ext4 and the XFS file systems here within Linux. If I run sudo lvs, I can see that I have the leftover two volume groups from the previous lesson. I'm going to start by getting rid of those. So sudo lv remove my data dash vg, which is the name of the volume group, and removing volume one dash lv, which is the name of my logical volume. All right, that one's removed. If I modify the one to a two here, that will remove volume two. Both volume groups have now been removed. And I may be running through a lot of commands here, but these commands have been covered in the previous lessons. We're going to now look at creating myself two different volume groups to work with. I'll do sudo lv create dash l. We'll say 100% free. I'll give it back the name of volume one dash lv, and it's going to be part of my data vg. I will use 100% of dev sd bravo. The reason why I'm recreating this is because I need a little bit of space to start with a smaller size and then expanding that when I have a file system already attributed to this. So I'm going to create this with 100% free. It's going to use all 100% of all of the extents located on dev sdb. All right, that one's created. I'll hit the up arrow, make a slight change to dev sdc, changing the volume group to volume 2 lv. I'll go ahead and hit yes to wipe the previous file system that was recognized. If I run sudo lvs, I now have two volume groups, both of them the exact same size, and I'm going to treat them a little bit different by putting two different file systems on here. To put the file system on, sudo mkfs, we'll do .ext4 for my first one. That'll be for dev my data vg volume one dash lv. That one has now been formatted with an ext4 file system. I'll go ahead and run the similar command, sudo mkfs. This time we'll use xfs for dev my data vg volume 2 dash lv. Now I have a ext file system on volume 1. I have an xfs file system for volume 2. They should be able to be mounted to my operating system. I'll cd into the slash mnt directory. And I have two folders left over from our previous lesson. So just storage one and storage two. These are just two plain folders here. I'll use sudo mount. We'll mount dev my data vg volume one lv to the slash mnt storage one directory. That one has now been mounted. And doing similar for volume two, we'll do dev my data vg volume two. 2 lv. We're going to mount that to mnt storage 2. I can see now the details of these mounts by running df -h. Now both file systems handle the way files and the, and the way that space is allocated for the file system. So although both of these are the exact same size, the ext file system, ext4 file system shows it slightly smaller after it's done the files the formatting in the file system. And the XFS shows it just a little bit larger with a little bit more space to work with. And that's just the handling of each one of these file systems and some of the differences between those two file systems. We're going to now add in and expand our logical volumes. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to say you probably normally would want to unmount both of these drives before we do any expansions of the logical volume. I am going to just leave them mounted because I'm going to use this for demonstration purposes and it should work just fine. But typically in a production environment, I would probably unmount both of these devices before I tried to expand them and then change the file systems on them. To get started, let's add or extend our volume one. I'll use sudo lv extend, do the dash l. And with the extend, I wanted to hit plus 100% free, as that will then increase it by whatever size I plan on adding to it. So I'll say plus 100% free. It's going to be my data VG, and then the name of the logical volume, which is volume one dash LV. The device that I plan on using here is dev 
SD, D as in Delta. So it will now double in size and it should use all of dev SDD as, as the additional space. Go ahead and hit enter. And I can see that it has been expanded to 1.99 gigabytes or just under that two gig mark because each one of my hard drives are one gig in size. I'll do the same command, sudo lv extend dash L, we'll say plus 100 percent free for my data VG volume 2 dash LV and I will add my dev SDE as an echo that has now been expanded as well so if I run sudo LVS I see that both of my volume groups are 1.99 gigabytes or just shy of that 2 gigabyte mark well here's where the problem ends up coming up we've already formatted it once before with the ext4 file system and the xfs file system so if I run Let's see, df-h, I can see here that the drives themselves have not changed. And you may think, well, maybe it's just I need to unmount it and, and remount it. So let me just go ahead and unmount one of them and see what happens. Umount, we'll say slash mnt storage one. I need to do that with the sudo command, sudo df-h. That one has now been unmounted from my system. Let me go back to mounting it. sudo mount slash dev my data vg volume one. I'm going to mount that to slash mnt storage one. If I run df dash h, I can see still uh, volume one, one is now at the bottom. That was the last one I added in here, but it's still the same size as what it was before, despite the fact that my volume group itself has expanded in size. So what I need to do is both of these file systems have the ability to expand the file system or to grow the file system to the maximum size or to any size we want of the space available. So my space available is really two gigabytes, although the file system was originally created when the space available, space available was only one gigabyte. To handle the ext4 system, we're gonna use the resize to fs command. So that command will be sudo resize to fs i'm going to go ahead and say resize slash dev my data vg volume one lv this is going to take that volume group and it's going to resize the file system which is my ext4 file system and expand it all the way to the end if i hit enter you can see by looking through this information that it is now, they, they kind of give me the sizes here, but it's now expanded. And if I run a quick little just df-h, I can see that I have now two gigabytes of size here. This is for volume one. And that available has also been increased to 1.9. So essentially both of those are two gigabytes in size. So I've now expanded it from the one gig size to now include the full range or the full logical volume that's been expanded. Now, volume two has not been expanded yet. To do that with the XFS system, the command I'm going to use is XFS grow FS. I'll go ahead and say slash dev my data VG volume two LV. This one has also been now expanded. So if I look to the details, I can see more information about what it changed from the size to this. But essentially, if I run DIA, dash h i should now also be able to see that here's volume two volume two is now a total of two gigabytes and i have two gigabytes available so this is expanding the file systems themselves after the logical volumes have been created and that's going to conclude this video on expanding the file system of resized logical volumes